Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody and today we're going to be breaking down another weekend league game that I played and honestly I'm doing this solely because I have not found any joy in playing Madden and the only thing that I the only time that I ever play Madden now is during weekend league and I still want to post content and there are not that many tips to go around anymore because the game is pretty much we know so much about the game now and I've posted so many tips and I don't want to post some BS tips that are not going to help you guys a lot. So I'm going to be doing some game previews now. Now, I got a lot of very meaningful comments uh, that, that mean a lot to me, obviously. They asked why I don't have a lot of subscribers yet. Why I haven't blown up yet, quote unquote. That's what they said. And first of all, I appreciate those comments. Anytime I get a comment like this, your content is amazing. Why are you not a big YouTuber yet? This means a lot to me. That means to me that I'm going in the right direction. And I can tell you why I haven't blown up yet, because I don't ask for a subscription within the first 10 seconds of the video. The first thing that every YouTube tip says is ask for a like and ask for a subscription right at the start of the video. I feel too dumb doing that, which is why I don't do it. So all of you guys that are really wondering how YouTube works and why I haven't blown up yet, because I think that my production quality is way better than some of the people that are at like 1,000 subscribers, 2,000, maybe not up to 10,000. Yeah, that is why. And now, with that being said, let's get into the gameplay. Okay, this was actually played on stream. Link it to my Twitch. It's not in the description below. Go check that out. Um, We should be right there. Okay, that's his lineup. Barry Sanders, he has Barry Sanders activated. I can already tell. He's going to try to run the ball. Now, I've had a lot of trouble with runners lately, just because my run defense has not been on point. Excuse me, my user has been off a couple of times, meaning that I over overrun plays, and people can just make me miss with their, I make my user miss with their running back. I have not been playing good run defense lately, so off the rip, I'm not too happy. Right there, I accidentally uh, switched the camera angle. Okay, so you know what? At the 29 yard line, good field position, and I'm starting or I'm running new close flex. I'm making my audibles. Really good formation. I did an ebook on it, or yeah, I guess it's kind of like an ebook. It's not as, it's not a, the breakdown isn't as in depth as the one I did on the gun punch formation, but it's still a really good offense. So if you want to check that out, link is up there. Go check that out. Really good offense. Becoming pretty meta right now. Great passes and also a good running game. Now, first up play pretty much any game for me is running the ball. Just because the run is so good and just like that. That was a really easy run. I just gained three yards. And that does two things. It puts me in a better it puts me in a better position at second down. Like second and seven, way better than second and ten. Uh and he also has to respect me running the ball i'm trying to roll out right there setting up the uh, block nothing is open not forcing anything scrambling getting a couple of yards that's good once again make your opponent respect you running the ball whether that's scrambling or whether that's running the ball just normally i have i have a very very bad discipline regarding this offense because i like to pass the ball and I really shouldn't pass the ball that often if I'm running near close flex just because the running game is that powerful in man 20 overall and also out of this formation. Right there. Blind read. Should have been picked probably. I got away with one. I'll take it. People throw it at me all the time. I'll take it. One time it happens for me. I'm not gonna complain about it. My opponent also can't complain. Because everyone gets cheated in man. Like that's that's what happens. I'm not mad at it if it, I'm mad at it if it happens to me. But I'm I'm like, okay, next play I'm gonna cheat him. That's the way it goes, man, this year. Now, because of that, I'm already well inside his territory. That's good. Second and six, I can now once again go back to the corner. And why I did that, I don't know. Once again scrambling, because nothing was there. Why do I go to a cover two video if it hasn't if he, if he hasn't ran anything besides cover three yet? Why did I do that? It worked out for me. I mean, I gained, gained yards on every play uh, just now. Why do I play this dumb? I don't know. 
it hasn't had a much is it hasn't had much much of an effect on this game yet. But why do I run cover two beaters if he has only rank cover three? Cover three. Don't know. Now, first and ten in his red zone. Good. Gets stood up by whoever that was, Luke Keekly. Yeah, Luke Keekly. In three yards, once again, the minimum of this run is pretty much three yards. It's that good of a run. You should use it. Second and seven at the 15. Now this is the territory where I want to pass the ball. Because that's how I am. I've been running bunch pretty much all year. I'm a passer. I'm going to try to get him to chase the streak route and maybe open up the corner route. That's what I'm thinking on this play. I can roll out once again. This is not this is not a good play call because once again, this is a cover two beater. He's running cover three match. By this point, I should have adjusted or I should have noticed that his defense is cover three match and he's not going to change that. For why I didn't do that, I don't know. Third and seven. Hope, may, hopefully, I'm getting... I'm going to a cover three beater right here. I am indeed, and the corner is open. Guess what? I'm running a cover three beater, and you're running cover three. I'm going to win the battle on that play. That's what I did. I'm at the four yard line now. I played that drive pretty stupidly, and still I'm in a good spot. That makes me happy in that spot because there were a lot of plays where I called the wrong play, definitely, and I knew it too. And I just got away with couple of these mistakes and I got a touchdown that's beautiful he had to use the uh, post route on the tight end open up the lane for the user Michael Vick is too quick he's gonna get out of there and he's gonna get the touchdown point after is good as well and we're up seven points can't ask for a better start than that now he's getting the ball first time he's he, I'm, I'm gonna be on defense even I took a lot of clock with me because I never had I didn't have an incompletion I the clock just ran already three minutes off the of the game really efficient drive can't complain he hasn't found any way to stop me yet that's good the thing with this near close flex is also that if your opponent knows how to stop near close flex you can still go to gun bunch and gun bunch is really powerful still and he's coming out in gun spread wise slot and you see me, I'm going to come out in big time over six. Going to make my audibles, put the people where I need them to be. This hair is annoying me, excuse me. And I'm coming out in the wrong camera angle. That's the first thing. And I can't adjust out of it. That's the second thing. He's running the ball, not getting nothing. That's the third thing. And that third thing actually doesn't annoy me because that was really poor run defense. And I got lucky, lucky that that wasn't... That, that he didn't gain more yards. I'm going to be running this cover. I get clicked onto the D-line. Luckily, I have Julius Peppers, who's pretty quick. And he's going to try to throw that. And I accidentally, right as he throws it, click R3 to send the spy. It's an unfortunate turn of events. What do you want to do? This is just what happens sometimes. It was an unlucky play on many levels. First of all, I got clicked onto the D-line. Secondly, I click off at the worst time he throws it and after that I click off like right after he throws it that makes my people freeze and he just gets a touchdown off of it. I was really pissed that was in stream I was so mad 7-7 seven seven now and Tariq not gonna do much of anything right here getting to the 28 yard line again I'm not gonna return a kickoff for a touchdown if you're gonna kick it to my fullback that's why I like to do it but I'm going to have good starting field position anyways. I'm going to run a cover three beater from what it looks like. No, actually. Not for one play touchdown. I'm going to be running a very simple cover three beater. Finally, I seem to have caught on to his defense being cover three. And right as I do that, he switches it up on me and he runs cover two. I had the laser. Just was um, just was behind, in front of the line of scrimmage. Passed it. That's what happens. Unlucky. That would have been 30 yards. Just about. Can't, can't do anything right there. Unlucky. Waited a little bit too long. Got to come back on second down. I'm going to be running wide receiver out. This scheme is really good because I can audible around to other very good passing formations. What was that? Other good passing formations. Such as this strong close. You see that I'm waiting just a second. I don't want this Pat Tillman to have a chance to pick it. At all. Not a fan of that. 
fast lead it up. It would have been a touchdown if I had a crossing route, a post route, a deeper post route. Still getting the first down. Now right here, I am still going back to this cover two beater apparently. I don't seem to have learned my lesson. Even though he's ran cover two once just now, he's still going to be running this cover three. I tried to fit it in. Got lucky that he went for the hit stick. He might have had a chance to pick it. Who knows? Anyways, I get away with throwing a tight ball and it's an incompletion. Second and 10 now. He's, I'm once again, I thought that it was, I saw me clicking to smash. Okay. I'm coming out in Texas now, thankfully, because that is the way that I usually beat cover three out of this. I'm going to motion out Randy Moss and try to get the corner out open. I get the pass protection down. It's cover two again. I try to throw the corner out. Do I get the feed in? I do actually get the feed in. Okay. So he's very smartly mixing in a cover two uh, just now. And that completion was big because it was a really tight window. And if I hadn't gotten it, then yeah, it obviously would have been a tough spot. I, don't, I actually don't know if it would have been that tough of a spot, but still getting that feels great. <laughs> feels great, baby. <clears throat> Second and 11 now at the 25 yard line, already in his territory. First time that he stopped me for pretty much no gain. And I'm going to auto information again. Pretty much every time that I'm in this, I'm in the uh, where is he? outplay. I just know that he was at some point going to drop off and go use the curl route. I just knew it. If he hadn't done it, then that would have been good defense and I might have had to throw the ball away. I just knew he wasn't going to stay that patient and he wouldn't. He wasn't going to he wasn't going to force me to make the read. Basically, is what I knew. First thing going now, I have the feeling that he's going to run commit right here. It seems like I would be faking a lot of adjustments. He doesn't run commit. And that was just a bad pass. That was just blind. Uh, no two ways about it. That was just really, really bad. Thankfully, we got Barry Sanders out there. He's got 99 speed. He's going to chase you down. Still very unfortunate turn of events. I was there. I had a chance. I just, I just messed it up. He's coming out in uh, this goddamn uh, spread... Double flex, whatever it's called. And I'm going to go back there and use the cover three. But here notices that just scrambles with Patrick Holmes. And I'm like, okay, if that's your only read on the play, fine. I was in the wrong defense anyways. If you only get that many, I mean, it still sucks that he gained that many yards without even throwing a pass. But he can't do anything. Just got to try to stop him right here. He's going to throw this corner out. And this corner out is actually something that is really is going to be really tough to guard throughout this video. That corner out ha is going to hit me a couple of times when it hurts. And right there, just, I just had the feeling that he was going to run the ball. It would have been bad run defense. I just stuck on the, say, the cornerback that would have blitzed and tried to shoot over. Stopped it. But that corner out is actually going to be tough to guard for me during this video. I'm going to start blitzing him a little bit. I'm not trying to click around too much because I don't want to get caught on the D-line again. Like it already happened to me once. Right here, I got him box. He could have thrown the in route. He could have thrown the post route. He just got a happy feet in the pocket. Get sacked. Third, third 19. I'm at the point now where I think, hold on, I might, you know, I might actually have a chance uh, to get him out of field goal range here. He's motioning in, into some sign of a, some kind of a Y off trick, uh, Y off chips, weak, something like that. Um, and he actually doesn't get the first down. So he's kicking his field goal. My mindset right now when I, while I'm playing this game is I have a chance to get points. If I don't get points here, then that would be bad because I have a chance. And I, you never want to miss out on chances. Yeah, that kind of deal. So he's kicking the ball to me. 1 minute and 14 seconds, that's that's very much enough time to get into field goal range. <clears throat> Christian Okoye, once again, is going to get the ball. They're trying to carry it out. Actually get past the 30. And now it's time to gotta, I gotta cook up some dots, actually. I'm still running this near close flex. I just want to get comfortable in, in it, even though it probably isn't the smartest move because I could easily dot him up way better out of gun bunch because I'm more used to it. I think that this offense has more potential quote unquote so that's why i want to stick in it i m might have accidentally snapped the ball right there 
That was actually a bad read that could have been picked, so I got lucky there. Did not want to snap the ball there, so, so, so that was a poor judgment call by me. And right as I say that I don't want to switch into Kamanj, actually, I'm actually gonna, because this seems like a time where I could seize the opportunity and sneak in one, a money player too. Gonna run this wide receiver post. Easy setup. This is a cover three, won't play touchdown. I try to get it off. Don't quite get it. I wanted to throw the crossing route. Get sacked just in time. Yeah, sucks. Third and 19 now. Once again, I'm out here in this gun bunch. I'm gonna try to get enough time to throw the corner out, which I do. He just picks it. I was really surprised. I passed led that up and not to the sideline. That was the mistake. I to this day, I'm really surprised as to how, or I'm not sure how he was able to get that because that was crazy. So he gets another shot on, at offense, basically, and he's already in field goal range, pretty much. He just needs five yards. It's annoying. I was ready for the run right here because that just seemed how, how what type of player he was. I don't know why. I don't know what happened right there. I'm he, I I'm I'm for sure. I th I'm thinking right now, since it, still to this day. I think I thought that I had a, a deep half out there to prevent that exact same thing. I was at that point so heated, you guys can't even imagine. I was sitting like this. I was, I was so mad. I don't know why that got it. That was a touchdown. Really surprised as to the circumstances. Yeah, that one just got away from me. That was really poor by me. Can't complain too much though because. Got, 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 gotta go fight. Gotta go fight up and try to make the best out of the situation. I don't want to quit just yet because there is still a chance for me to get a field goal in this half and then I would obviously be set for the second half. I'm going to try to throw a cover two beater for some reason. I, I don't agree with this call by me at all, but I'm going to attempt it at least because he has shown to be in cover three pretty much all the time. I can Playmaker him up the field, get a couple of yards. Made the best out of the situation. Once again, a really poor call by me. Now I'm already at the uh, 48. I can English very well, I promise. I need about 12 more yards. Maybe only 10 more yards for field goal range. This is a good spot, actually, now. Throw this in route just in time. Doesn't get a hit stick. I probably should... Hmm. That's a tough spot. That's, that's a tough spot. Probably this spike is a smarter move just so I can... Still have the threat of the run if I ever get in close. Uh, first, uh, second and ten now. I cannot lose yards here. A sack is about a loss of five yards or no seven yards. And if I do that, then I would be out of field goal range. Try to fit the in route in just a bit too early, a little bit too early. If I had waited a bit longer, that would have been there. Now can't complain too much because that was a bad read by me. Third and 10 now, going back to the same play because it was open. I had the feeling that it, that he might run the same defense and then just break back to the, uh, break back to the, uh, what's he called, to the in route. He didn't there. I was past the line of scrimmage when throwing the delay fade and I just instantly called the timeout because I did, I did not want to have uh, the clock run out on me. I'm trying to kick this field goal right here. Got this timing down. Got this timing down. Hopefully it's going to make it. It's going to make it. Okay. That was a really long field goal. That was a 58 year field goal. Nailed it with Zane Gonzalez. If you guys have any spare coins, go pick him up. He's the kicker team of the year promo. Or get the best kicker that you can afford, obviously. 95 kick power. 97 kick power, actually. 97 kick power. He's a beast out there. This is so big. Th these three points... They really have a big effect on this game because he, it changes the way he can play offense. He's now only up one possession, so he really cannot mess up too much. He doesn't get three points here. He's in a spot where he can lose the lead. Because I have shown that I can drive the ball on him fairly well. And now it's his time to shine. He's once again out in this spread. And look what he throws. The corner. 
I don't know why I got clicked on to the cornerback right there. I thought that I was going to get clicked on to number 29, Ryan Fitzpatrick. No, mm, Minka Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick, that's the quarterback. Um, and I thought that I might have had a chance at a pick. Not going to lie. Right there, beautiful scramble by him. Good play. He's already in field goal range. Two plays. I don't get clicked on to the safety. And then he just rolls out. And he's in field goal range. That sucks. I'm really pissed right now because that's way too easy of a drive. That can't happen. Right there. A hit stick into nowhere. He's in field goal range. He's had he's having way too easy of a drive. That this should not be the case. Second and inches now, that's actually a good spot for him. Because now he can maybe take a deeper shot at uh maybe a corner route once again. And then still can run the ball on third and inches as long as he doesn't get sacked. As I say that, I, he gets sacked. That's the dumbest thing he could do. That's really dumb because now he has to actually fight to get this field goal. I don't know what kicker he, he uh, what kicker he's got. That's going to be a tough field goal if he doesn't get, let's say, two yards. Two yards he needs for saying Gonzalez to be comfortable hitting it. I send this by. <laughs> I was so pissed, you guys. I, I was... At that point, I was like, I was sitting back here and I was closing my eyes in disbelief. How I got that ball off, nobody knows. Don't ask me. That That's really weird. Now he's in goal line. Because that's what you do at the 15-yard line. Come on in goal line. He's chewing clock. Keep this in mind. Remember that. He's chewing clock. Doesn't get any yards here. <laughs> Why would you run goal line? Anyways... He's going to run it again, making the same adjustments. He just thinks that I'm not going to score a touchdown on Basically, that's my interpretation of this right here. And he, I mean, I guess beautiful stick, but still, come on. Yeah, come on. <sighs> Had two people there. He just outswerves me and him and the AI player. So he's up 14 points, two touchdowns. The game is pretty much over. But I wouldn't be showing you guys if the game was actually over, right? Right? I wouldn't do that. Or maybe I would. I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking about quitting at this point. Because 1 minute 41 seconds. Being down 2 touchdowns. That's a tall task. That's a very, very tall task. Maybe if he, wouldn't, if he had gotten the strip right there, then I wouldn't quit. Okay. Just let it be known. I was really close to quitting. First and 10. At my 34-yard line, great field position. I gotta just cook up a dot, I guess. I'm thinking he's either gonna run the cover three, um, cover three match, or he's gonna run the cover two. Um, with the that that's turned into a cover three. He's running the cover three match, and I burn it, and I just make a mistake on the swerve. So that gives me hope because he's really dumb. He's playing the game not smart. He should be inverting his cover three every play from now on. Make me take time on this drive. If I get a quick one play score, then that's the worst scenario because then he will have to prove me to me again that he can run the, uh, that he can move the ball on me. Bad play by him, bad user. Don't fit it in for some reason. I was just not. I was. I was not at the better. I did not get the good side of the of VA that game. They're gonna cheat somebody, and they cheated me this whole game. At least uh, the the crazy pick before the end of the half, and that knockout right there. Nah, that was that was wild. If you ask me, that was wild. Right there, gonna get the possession catch. I will not get it. I am not going to get it. This game at this point is all about over. Uh, ESPN's win probability calculator, whatever, w would say that there's about a 99.9.9% .9 chance that my opponent was gonna win. The, is gonna win this game. I think that would be accurate. I haven't moved the ball at all on him. It appears right there. Don't get the feeling. Poor read in route would have been open. I was ready to call it quits. I just wanted to see maybe I would get lucky, get a fumble or whatever. But I also knew that I only had one enforcer out there on the field. And if he was not going to be the one to make the play, I was probably not going to get a fumble. I had one player out there that could save this game for me. 
And other than that, I was just praying. He's gonna run the ball right here. And the blocking just sets up beautifully. He swerves me out. Follow Walu. The rescue. Get the fumble. Pat Timmer is gonna be tackled. I'm at the one yard line. Even though I just got lucky, he still has a chance to get me for a safety. And then the game's officially over. Because then he's still up two possessions and two touchdowns. And he's got the ball. I just know I'm running this ball. He's coming out in 3-4 odd. His linebackers are really uh, close together. I know that this is a chance for me to run the ball. I don't outstick him. God damn it. My thumbs were not working this game, apparently. I apparently, I was playing without thumbs. I need to make a move right there. Uh, right there. I was kind of lucky to get the first time right there. I had a chance at a touchdown right there. If I just made that guy miss, then Barry with 99 speed, 99 acceleration would have been off to the races. Not going to happen, apparently. What can you do? Second and 10, get the uh, first and 10, get the first down. Rather fortunately, get the, got the protection down. I'm going to... Try to outswerve him right, th right here. The clock stops, thankfully getting another play in the third quarter. At this point, being down two possessions, every second is critical. It's really at that point already. I have to score as quickly as possible. No way around it. it just needs to happen. Second and ten. My tight end releases for some reason. My tight end releases. I don't know why. I don't know why. He just doesn't get anybody to block and he just goes out and route. That's unfortunate. 13 11, 11 now. Just as bad of a spot as I was in the last drive with the third and 10. Maybe even worse now because I don't have as much time uh, left to me right now. Oh, that it, that game was tough. I'm... I don't know what I was doing right here. I'm not gonna lie. But, but I also knew that I was not... I couldn't take the time out. I'm gonna try to scramble right here. I just get the first down... Barely I get the first down. So there's still life. That was not a good play call. I just... I just hoped that I was going to get lucky. And I did get lucky. And right here, I'm actually doing something that is really interesting. Um, I'm going to reset the play twice. And now you will see that circle is on a on an out route. Or on a slant out. And that is a cover 3 reader. I wasn't running a cover 3, so there was no... you. So it didn't work, but still, I think that is a neat little rod combo. I broke that down in my ebook on the combined formation. I just said, okay, it's running coverage four. That's not gonna work. It's not worth it putting a running back out there. I'm just gonna keep running my regular offense. I am very sorry for not showing. Come on, give me the block, give me the block. Very Sanders. <sighs> That's it. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Easy run, touchdown. That's what we needed because now he has to show me that he can move the ball. He hasn't done that. Or he has done it. But I still think that I can stop him. That sounds weird. But his offense, it's not good. I just made many mistakes. Many little mistakes that, it can, that can be easily avoided. And pretty much any time I made a mistake, he has capitalized on it. I just don't make a mistake here. He's not going to drive the ball on me by having people open. I just have to make the play and then nobody's going to be open. That sounds really dumb, but you guys, uh, I think you guys are going to understand what I'm saying. I'm not scared of his offense because I know that I can stop for a fact. I'm adjusting a bit right here. I am always scared of adjusting my circle cornerback at the end of the play. Right there, as that happened, I thought the game was over because now he just took time off the clock. And the play is still going to... Con uh, the, the clock is still going to run. Apparently, it's not going to run because it was out of bounds. For some reason, or something happened of that nature. And now I'm getting really adjusted. I want to have everything across the middle taken away. Going to man up the in route. The tight end is going to be on, on the in route. He's not really going to make a play. He's playmaking up. He's throwing the ball away. That stops the clock for me beautifully. Now I know that I can stop him. I'm going to go into this big dime. I'm trying to, if you skip through the play call screen like that, your players are going to uh, rest up a bit. And now I know that he's probably not going to run the ball on me. So, so that's why I want to get into this, for, into big demo for six. And what do you know? He runs the ball. Gets the first. What can you do? Yeah, can you, can you do? Now I have to stop him. 
and usually spread it people are really good against the blitz because it's tough to be blitz heavy uh against people in spread because they can throw those hitches which are really tough to guard and he didn't run a hitch for some reason he didn't dumb call in my opinion just throw a hitch and get on with your life so that's why i put those two birds hooks out there by the two linebackers to take those hitches away that's why i wanted him there i just wanted to take away the quick and easy read he's gonna block seven people if he has seven people blocking and i have um how many people do you have in coverage seven people uh, in coverage seven against uh three if anything gets open right there then that's just embarrassing he's gonna run the ball i air i air hit sticked right there which made me very scared because he could have gotten the first down easily he's gonna elect to kick so the game is pretty much over if he makes it because then i would have to get a, uh, an onside kick or i would have to score and then not allow another first down he fakes it this moron really fakes it i'm gonna be honest he doesn't get it that's a moron move why do you fake it maybe because he couldn't make it but then just go for it regularly that was such a dumb call i'm gonna be honest that was a dumb call he is a good player i mean i, th I still think that he's better i'm better than him uh, uh, honestly not even disrespecting like i was making very very many dumb mistakes during that game and that's the only reason that he's in it that's the dumb call you have to play game management against the player i'm i'm better than you against a better player you need to play game game management and not make such a dumb mistake like come on right there i knew that he, he was using a linebacker linebackers don't get animations this year i just threw it over him you knew that i was gonna get the rack egg <sighs> i can breathe a little lighter now that was the play that i needed because now I'm already in striking distance. The clock is no longer a factor. Because I have three timeouts. I'm at the 31. Time is not the restricting factor. It's, I'm not. I'm going to have time to get in. It's just whether I get in or not. That's the question right here. Getting a touchdown or not getting a touchdown. That's the question. Go the in route. Thank you. Thank you for catching it. Not catching a hit stick. Darren Waller is very close to double me. So that's something that I keep in mind. It's not something that I'm force feeding him right now i actually can't because if you got a 20 yard completion then it would be a touchdown it's just something that i keep in mind all right here he was about to use the wheel route not gonna force that or throw the post not gonna risk that and scramble take my yards i'm chewing clock right here because now i know that time is definitely not gonna be a factor and i just don't want him to have enough time uh, to put a drive together Look at that. Look at that. What a laser. The reason why I can throw that is because he, he was using he was using Luke Kickley and Luke Kickley doesn't have an ability. Linebackers without the lurker ability, you can throw it over their head any day of the week. It's so fun. It's so fun. He was probably so cheesed, but that's a good read. He was not gonna pick that. He was not gonna pick it. I don't know how to make it clear to you guys, but you guys that pass the ball know that that's not a pick. That's a very good read. Now, 35 seconds, that might have been a little bit too much time. Not going to lie. Looking back, maybe that's too much time. I'm just going to blitz the living shite out of him just because I know that he, he dealt with it very poorly. And 5 on 5, one of my people is going to shed. Or rather 5 on 6. You see, we get in. Throw that, throw that, throw that, throw that, please. He threw it. Get a pick. 27 seconds to get into field goal range. I need about 20 yards. 20 yards, 27 seconds with three timeouts. I, stop playing with me. This is my game to lose. It's my game to lose. If I don't get it here, then that's embarrassing. And you should unsub right now. Because I'm in the best best spot to win the game. And if I don't do it, then that's just, it's, that's just a sad, sad story. He's not going to get to the corner. Route. That's field goal range, baby. That's how you throw away a game. He was in overtime. He had me in overtime. If he gets the ball and he scores, that's game. Well, he scores a touchdown, that's game. I just, I'm just running the ball. I'm falling forward, boy. I'm falling forward. I want to get the first down so that he has no chance at getting the ball back. I want to take all the time with me. 
I'm gonna go into this and I'm gonna pound the ball down your throat. Hoss. Second and four. Gonna try to fall forward. Not gonna get an animation, unfortunately. Get tackled for a loss. Uh, it's sweaty right here. Third and four. Third and four. I'm going to. What am I gonna go into? iPhone slot. F back dive. Just test my luck. Maybe. Maybe he thought that it was gonna have some crazy innovative run in me. Uh, passing me. Nah, just running the ball. Just a regular handoff. 46 yard field goal. I have focus kicker. I shouldn't miss this. I'm not gonna miss it. Accurate kick can't be blocked. I'm up three points with five seconds left. And this is where the game rests fully on this kickoff and one play after the kickoff. Kicking the ball off to him. Please, yeah. Don't screw me over. Or I'm gonna fair catch it. <laughs> Not smart. You have a better chance of scoring on the kick return than now. Not a smart call in my opinion. I'm going to move Clowny in. I want to have seven people rushing. He can only block six. He can only block his running back. He's gonna flip the two people. <sighs> whatever. He's gonna flip them for whatever reason. He doesn't even know that he can get four wide receivers in pretty much every spread set. He gets absolutely screamed at. And that's the game. Just in general, I have to say that he played that game very poorly. He man he didn't manage it well. He gave me way too much time. Of course, I got lucky with the fumble. I think that was a little bit of a use of play because I moved him a bit back and then let him get a shot at a hit stick. I did not tackle him immediately, you guys saw it. And I'm actually gonna show this to you in the highlights. You guys saw that I made a little bit of a user play to give myself a chance at that. It's probably not gonna, never gonna happen again. What you'll see right here is I'm gonna zoom out a bit. I don't use this feature a lot, so give, cut me some slack if it's not working properly. Right there, he makes my guy miss. And now try P. You see, I'm gonna show it to you better on the next angle. I made a little stutter step um, to the side of the pylons and then he, I went back in so uh, from here and I look on at Troy Palomalu and right there in that case it's not about making the tackle it's about try having a chance at a turnover if he if I don't get that fumble he's gonna score a touchdown pretty much anyway or he's gonna kick a field goal and the game is over you see Troy P just makes a play. Doesn't even have enforcer. Troy P, that's the first play that I've seen him make for from, from my team where I was like, that couldn't have, have been another safety. Anyways, I'm just trying, right here, I'm just trying to get a good angle for the thumbnail. You know me, you know me. You gotta, uh, I gotta do everything for the nice visuals. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm gonna be dropping a live commentary from this weekend tomorrow. Weekendly. So if you wanna go check that out, obviously do. Now is the time of the video where I tell you to subscribe. Subscribe. And now is the time of the video where I'm going to ask you if you enjoyed this video and you think that this improved your game and you know people that need to improve their Madden game, then obviously recommend that video to them. This video to them. You know, you know that there are some people out there in your circle of friends that need help with Madden. And if you're not recommending my video to them, I'm just telling you, you could do that and it would help them. If you don't do it, you're just you're just not helping your friends out at the end of the day. And you're not helping me out neither. Yeah. Thank you for watching. This was a really long video. If you stuck on if you stuck through the whole video, even through all the bad luck that was going my way, and obviously subscribe. See you in the next video. Peace out.